فوز باللہ من شیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو مائی نیو کلاس دس از مائی ایٹ لیکچر سو ان دس لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دی نرسنگ امپلیکیشن فار کارٹیکو اسٹیرائڈ تھراپیز لیٹ سپوز وین وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ریکمینڈیڈ ڈراگ ان دی فارم آف کارٹیکو اسٹیرائڈ سو واٹ آر دی بیسک پروٹوکول which must be followed by the nurse. So these are the assessment scales, assessment and drug effects. So you can check it. I have already, uh, that has been given here. So first of all, uh, nurse is responsible to establish the baseline and continuing data on the BP. Uh, weight measurements, uh, fluid and electrolyte balance as well as the blood glucose level so it should be checked. So these are the basic uh, you can say uh, he should, he or uh, she should establish the baseline uh, and uh, he or she should collect the uh, this data on BP, blood pressure, weight, measurements, fluid, electrolyte balance and blood glucose. Uh, now the second one is lab test so this is also very important. So let's suppose a patient, let's suppose a patient who is on corticosteroid therapy. So lab test, it is for investigation, it is very important. So periodic serum, electrolytes, blood glucose should be checked. LCT, hematocrates and hemoglobin, the platelet count and WBC with differentials. Monitor for uh, adverse effects, older adults and patients with low serum albumins are especially susceptible to the adverse effects. Be alert to the signs of hypoglycemia. Let's suppose if the patient is hypoglycemic, so what are the precautionary measurements which should be adopted, which must be adopted by the patient as well as the nurse is responsible to give a proper protocol to the patients. In ophthalmoscopic examinations, they are recommended every two to three months, especially if the patient is receiving ophthalmic steroid therapies. Monitor power continues or persistence, baggage or chest pain, compression and spontaneous fracture of long bones and vertebra present hazards. The nurse is also responsible to monitor for and report changes in mood behavior, especially the emotional instability of the patient, the psychomotor activity, as well as especially with the long-term therapy. The nurse should be alert to possibility of the marked infection and delay healing anti-inflammatory and immunosupportive action. It should be noted down that the dose adjustment may be required if the patient is subjected to severe stress or serious infection, surgery or injury. And secondly, it is also very important that for a single dose of corticosteroids are the use for a short period, mean less than one week, do not produce any withdrawal symptoms if the therapy is discontinued even with moderately large doses. Expect a slight weight gain with improved appetite. After dosage, a stabilized Notify physician of a sudden slow but steady weight increase 2 kg or 5 lb per week. And it is also very important that uh, to avoid the alcohol and caffeine, so which may be contributing factor to the steroid ulcer development and long term therapy. So here patient counseling is very important regarding from each and every point of view. For example, do not ignore the dyspepsia with hyperacidity. So all these things should be under investigations. Report the symptom to the physicians and do not self-medicate to find relief. Do not use aspirin, acetyl salicylic acid or other over-the-counter drug, OTC drugs, unless the prescribed specifically by the physicians. Note, let's suppose this should be noted down. Let's suppose if there is high protein, calcium and vitamin T diet, it should be advisable in order to minimize or reduce the risk of corticosteroid induced osteoporosis. Notify physicians of slow healing, any way of feeling of being sick or return to the pretreatment symptoms. Do not abruptly 
or quickly discontinue the drug doses, they are gradually reduced to prevent the withdrawal symptoms. Report the exacerbation of the disease during drug withdrawal. Carry medical identification at all the times and it need to indicate medical diagnosis, drug therapy and name of the physicians. So actually this is the nursing protocol which is provided in the hospital. Let's suppose if the patient who is on the corticosteroid therapy. Apply the topical preparation sparingly in small children while the hazards, the risk of systemic toxicity is higher because of greater ratio of skin surface area to the body weight. Check the shelf life date on typicals on topical corticosteroid during long-term use do not spray breast uh, feed while uh, you can say taking using this drug without consulting physicians so especially in case of breastfeeding so while taking using these drugs without consulting physician it is also very important so before this you should clear yourself after that you can uh, recommend it any drug to the patients. Now come to the posology of the dosage of corticosteroid. So as we know that corticosteroid there are different type of drugs which are available and uh, different doses and different dosage form. So the first one is betamethasone. So as we know that betamethasone is belong. This is corticosteroids. Pharmacologically betamethasone is corticosteroid. So far oral dosage form they are available in syrup, tablets and effervescent tablets. So, betamethasone can be given to adult and teenager. The dose may be ranges from 0.25 to 7.2 mg a day as a single dose are divided into several doses. For children, the dose is based on the body weight or size and must be determined by your doctor. So, if you remember uh, in my uh, lecture number 57, so you can study there, I have already discussed about the different drug calculation, how to find out the different doses for the child, for adult and for geriatrics. So, you can find out uh, all these uh, lectures, I have already uh, given many lectures especially on drug calculation so uh, you can check it and if you have any problem regarding the dose calculation then you can directly contact me through whatsapp inshallah i will clear to you people inshallah for long acting oral dosage form the extended release tablets adults for adults and teenagers dose may be range from 1.2 to 12 milligram injected into the giant lesions muscles or vein are often necessary determined by your doctor at the same case in children the dose is based on the body weight uh, for example let's suppose if the drug is given to the patients by body weights for example that is 2.2 milligram per kg body weight so let's suppose if the weight of the person is let's suppose if the weight of the person if the weight of the uh, patient is uh, for example uh, 10 kg and then you can say the dose the dose which is required for that patient is uh, 20 milligram per kg body weight uh, another person let's suppose uh, the dose which is given in the literature so the dose is let's suppose 3 milligram or 4 milligram per kg body weight and the weight of the person is 20 milligram then you can simply multiply it uh, so you can say normally the dose which is required for that uh, patient uh, so then you can according to the conditions uh, it means you can adjust the dose according to the condition of the uh, patient for injection dosage form the adder for adults and teenagers so these are also available in the form of injections so adder for adults and teenagers two to six milligrams per day it should be given to the uh, adults or teenager teenager whose age is from 13 to 19 years so for children the dose is based on the body weight or the size and must be determined by the medical practitioners the second one is beauty sonides 
So these are long acting oral dosage form or extended release capsules. So they're also available in tablet capsule forms for adults, beauty, sonides, which also come under the category of corticosteroids. So at first the dose is nine milligram a day for up to eight weeks. Then your doctor maybe decreases the dose up to six milligram a day. Each dose should be taken in the morning before breakfast for children using dose must be determined by your doctor doctor by the medical practitioners or pharmacists so there are some formulas through this formula you can easily find out the dose for the children's as I have already discussed all the dose calculation in my previous lecture so you can search it and if you have any problem so you can contact me the third one is cortisone. So cortisone for oral dosage form for tablets, adults and teenagers, 25 to 300 milligrams a day. As a single dose are divided into several dose and for children as the same conditions. For injection dosage forms, adults and teenagers, 220 to 300 milligrams a day injected into the muscle. So 20 to 300 milligrams a day they can be injected into the muscle because most of as we um, majority of the corticosteroid those drugs for example beta metasone beta metasone dexamethasone or you can say beclomethasone so all these are anti-inflammatory agents like decadron so decadron they are available in the form of injections um, uh, as well as uh, there are uh, other drugs which are available for example canacard so they are also available in the form of injection while some of them they are there can be given to the patients topically like you can say dexamethasone so dexamethasone they are also available in topical form in cream form and lotion form so for children the dose is based on the body weight or size it must be determined the practitioners now come to world dexamethasone dexamethasone is another another anti-inflammatory agent which belong to the corticosteroids for oral dosage form elixir they are available and uh, as well as an elixir's oral solution and tablet form so they are available and different dosage form for adults and teenagers so they are available it can be given to add the dose of 0 0.5 to 10 milligram mg taken as often as necessary is determined by your doctors for children the dose is based on the body weight or the size must be determined by your doctors or practitioners for injections dosage form air for adults the normal dose is 20 20 to 40 milligram or 25 to 40 milligram injected into the joints legion and muscle and vein and often necessary as determined by your doctor so for children that is recommended according to the body weight of the uh, patient hydrocortisone so hydrocortisone this is the most you can say well known well known corticosteroids hydrocortisones so they are available in oral dosage form in oral suspensions and tablet so the adults for the dose for the adults and teenagers is 20 to 8 800 milligrams every one or two days is a single dose are divided into several doses for children as the dose is recommended already depend upon on the body weight and it must be determined as I have already discussed for injection dosage form adults and teenager 5 to 5 to 500 milligram they are injected into the giant legions muscles or vein under the skin are often necessary so as determined by the medical practitioner so there are some faults there are some formula through this formula you can easily find out the dose calculation inshallah and in my upcoming lectures inshallah i will calculate and i will uh, make it easy for uh, my students uh, for facilitations inshallah and children as the dose is recommended already we have discussed that it depends upon on the body weight and size Fifth one is methylprednisolone. So this is another corticosteroid, methylprednisolone. They are also available in tablet form. So in adults and teenagers, the dose is 4 to 160 milligram. Every one or two days is a single dose are divided into several doses. And it's the same case for the uh, children as I have already uh, mentioned in the above lectures for injection injectable form so methylprednisolone they are also available in injectable form for adults the dose is 4 to 160 milligram 
injected into the joint lesions muscles when on open necessary determined by the doctors prednisolone so prednisolone so this is another corticosteroid drug so they are also available in oral dosage form oral suspension syrup and tablets for adults and teenagers the dose is normally 5 to 200 milligrams taken as often as necessary is determined by the medical practitioners for injectables uh, dosage form the adults and teenagers the normal dose for the adults and teenagers is 2 to 100 milligram which is injected into the joint so in the same case we have discussed and other uh, anti-inflammatory ag agents which belong to corticosteroids another one is prednisone prednisone they are also available in oral dosage form oral solution so a oral solution form may be available a serum form may be or a scale or tablet form may be available adults and teenagers 5 to 200 milligrams every one or two day as a single dose are divided into several doses Trimcinolone. Trimcinolone. This is another. This is the last one. Corticosteroids, which is available in oral dosage form, in the form of syrup, in the form of tablets, and adults and teenagers. For adults and teenagers, it is required two to sixty milligram, milligram per kg body weight. So, as a single dose, are divided into several doses. So as well as the same dose the dose is based on the body weight for the children's so depend upon on the body weight so for injection dosage from adults and teenagers zero point and so there are also trimcinolones is also available in oral dosage form as well as in injectable form so an injectable form for the adults and teenagers 0 0.5 to 100 milligram injected into the giant legion or muscle and under the skin is often necessary determined by your doctor so inshallah in my next lecture inshallah i will discuss about the more about the dose calculation how to calculate the dose for the child so there are some formulas when inshallah i will put this formula and through with the help of this formula you can find out the dose of all the corticosteroids uh, thank you so much for watching my lecture